Hey everybody, today we're gonna take a look at Zootopia, the latest animated movie from the House of Mouse. This takes place in a world where humanity is conspicuously absent. I suppose it might take place in the future where we finally nuked ourselves into oblivion and the animals have all taken over. Don't know, but it's neat to think about. The movie focuses on a character named Judy Hopps, who, despite seemingly insurmountable odds, has become the first rabbit police officer and has been assigned to the police department in Zootopia. And at first, she's very excited about this and thinks her new life in Zootopia is going to be wonderful and magical and all that and all that. But she quickly learns just how difficult police work can be, especially when you're a cute little bunny. And oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, Jesus. I'm, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said, I just, I, in case you may not be aware, a bunny can call another bunny cute, but when someone else says it, it's, it's kind of offensive. I'm sorry. I'm not normally that insensitive. I apologize. That, that was rude of me. Uh, anyone watching this video who hasn't already seen the movie is like, what the fuck is he talking about? <laughs> so while Judy is on the job, she meets a con artist by the name of Nick Wilde, and the two form an unlikely partnership and try to solve a case involving several disappearing animals. So I don't know about you, but I was not expecting a whole lot from this movie apart from a bunch of jokes involving animals acting like people. I figured it was just going to be something to keep dumb children entertained for about two hours. So imagine my surprise when I discovered this movie has a surprising amount of depth. It deals with stuff like class structure and discrimination and organized crime and political corruption and even drug use a little bit. This movie has a Breaking Bad reference. I'm not kidding. And to the movie's credit, it handles all of these things very well and doesn't just dumb everything down. It's still easy enough for kids to understand, but at the same time, it's also sophisticated enough to appeal to adults. And in some cases, it might even appeal to the adults more so than the kids. Especially since things like the Breaking Bad reference would probably go right over most children's heads. Uh, there's also a Godfather reference in this movie, which I imagine most kids wouldn't get either. There's a point where Judy and Nick meet this guy named Mr. Big, who, surprise, is not very big at all. He's an Arctic shrew, so he's like, yay, hi. And he's voiced by Maurice LaMarche, basically doing his Godfather impression, which he does very well. The story is excellent, very clever stuff here. I really like the humor in this movie. I'm sure a lot of you have seen that DMV clip with the slots. That was... Excellent. I also really like the uh, naturist club that Judy and Nick visit during their investigation, which is apparently run by Tommy Chong. Because who else would it be, really? The animation looks fantastic, as you would expect from Disney. Just very bright and colorful and a wide variety of animals throughout this movie, and they all look amazing. And the 3D looks pretty good, too. Jennifer Goodwin does a great job as the voice of Judy Hopps, the small creature with big plans who's always the epitome of optimism in spite of the odds and the supreme lack of encouragement from her family. Oh boy. Now, now remember, Judy, it's okay to have dreams. Dreams are great. Just don't actually try to achieve them because that will only lead to disappointment. Good advice. You rule at parenting. Jason Bateman does a great job as the fox Nick Wilde, a sly, streetwise, snarky bastard. Pretty much a perfect role for him. And there are so many talented people in this cast, I don't even think I can name them all. There's Idris Elba, Octavia Spencer, J.K. Simmons, Alan Tudyk, and there's even a very small part for Tiny Lister. You remember Tiny Lister, right? He was in No Holds Barred. He was Zeus. And I think that's about all I can say about this movie, really. I've been trying to think if there was something I didn't like, and I'm honestly, I'm coming up empty. I'm sure if I went back and watched it a couple more times and really tried to nitpick, I could come up with something. But really, what's the point? This is a very, very good movie. It is one of Disney's best, and I can recommend this to everyone without hesitation. Adults will like it. If you have kids, bring them along. They will like it. If you have pets, they'll probably like it too, but don't actually bring your pets to the theater because that, that would just be weird. And that's about all I got to say about Zootopia. If you haven't seen it, do so. And until next time, take care.